If you want your lawn to look great all summer, you've got to give it water. If you give it too much water, you're going to go bankrupt, and if you don't give it enough, you're going to have a brown lawn. So what I'm going to show you in this video are the seven tips that I use to save myself money, save water, and still give me a great lawn through the whole season. Our first tip is so easy to do, but it gives big results, and that involves mowing height. The height you cut your lawn can have a big impact in really hot weather. So what I like to do is raise my mowing height so that I give my grass a little bit more of a buffer against the heat. I like to raise the height on my mower about an inch higher than I normally do. Now that's going to vary on the model, but it's usually going to be about one or two clicks higher on your mower's adjustment. And this simple thing can make a big difference on improving the health of your lawn through the whole summer when to water because if you water at the wrong time you're going to waste water and you might not get enough water to the roots of your lawn and you'll still have problems ideal time to water is between 5 a.m and 10 a.m because the sun is not going to be real high in the sky so the water is going to get soaked in and go to the roots where it needs to be my next tip is the secret recipe that I put on my lawn to protect it during the summer. Now I made a complete video on how to mix this up yourself using off the shelf ingredients and this stuff really works because the main ingredient is sea kelp and sea kelp has an amazing benefit on your lawn to protect against heat stress. And this is not a recipe that I sell. I'll give you links to the product so you can make it yourself and it's a lot less money than buying that pre-made stuff and it just works. So watch that other video and I'll show you how easy it is to spray this on your lawn and it really helps protect it throughout the hottest weather. If you've got a sprinkler system, whether it's built in or something you put on top of the lawn, making sure that you have a sensor to know that if it's already rained, to not run the sprinklers. These sensors cost very little, they're easy to install, and it can save you wasting a ton of water on those days that the lawn is already wet. And if you don't want to install one of those sensors, an even better option is to take your old sprinkler controller and replace it with an ultra-modern internet-based sprinkler controller. Now I own one of these personally, I really like it because it connects to my iPhone and the internet. So this is much better than just a rain sensor because this not only knows if it did rain, it also knows the weather forecast and it uses probability to only shut the sprinklers off if it's absolutely certain it's gonna rain. So this thing is really smart and it saves you doing work and ultimately it saves water. So any of these options can make a big difference on how much water you're putting down and so that you do it at the right time. Water less often. Now that sounds counterproductive to what we're trying to do, but you want to water during the summer usually about three times a week. Watering every day is usually going to be too much for people and it's just putting too much water down and wasting water and money. So what I recommend doing is making sure that when you water, you put down between an inch and an inch and a half of water each time. Now that sounds like a big complicated thing, but it's easy to figure out. You want to take a cup like I'm doing here, mark it at an inch and two inches, put it out in your lawn, and you want to test each one of your areas on your lawn that you have a sprinkler zone. So set this cup out there, run your zone manually, and then see how long it takes to get an inch to an inch and a half of water. So that might take you say 20 minutes. Once you know the amount of time, that's the ideal amount of time to set that zone for. So it sounds a little more complicated than it is. Essentially, you're just gonna throw the cup out there, turn your zone on, and when it hits that inch and a half, that's the ideal time. So it's easy to do, and this is really critical to understanding how much water you're putting down. And you might be surprised that sometimes a zone is not that efficient and it might take you longer than you think to get that inch and a half of water down. And that can frequently be the reason that your lawn is burnt out in a section and you can't figure out why. So you wanna double check that sprinkler to see how long it takes to get that amount of water down. Our next tip is to slow down or stop fertilizing. When it is blazing hot out, if you put fertilizer down, you're really going to encourage a lot of growth. And in the hottest weather, what you want to do is just protect the grass you have and keep it as healthy as possible. So if you throw down a bunch of food, you're really going to make the lawn try to grow. And what that means is it is going to be looking for even more water. 
So if you needed a regular amount of water just to keep it going, now you may double or triple it, and most of us just can't get that much water down. So the simple advice here is to just stop fertilizing for those hottest months of the summer and deal with it again when temperatures cool down. Your lawn's not gonna die, plenty of lawns don't get fertilized at all, and that will be the least of your troubles, especially if you're able to keep a good amount of water down, your lawn will thank you and still keep looking good. My final tip is adjusting sprinklers. Now whether you've got an irrigation system that's built in or you're just using the kind that you move around your yard, it's really important to make sure that they're adjusted properly. And by that I just mean take a few minutes when you turn your sprinklers on to watch the pattern. Watch where the water is going. If tons of the water is just going into a bed or it's going off in your driveway, that's a total waste of water. So just spend a few minutes to get an idea that your sprinklers are working correctly. Oftentimes we throw sprinklers out and don't realize that we're completely missing a spot and you're gonna find out a week or two later when the grass is dead. So these are the tips that I use in my own yard and it makes a big difference to make sure that I'm not using a ton of water. Now not everybody wants to talk about water conservation. It's not the most exciting topic, but what is exciting is saving money. So the biggest reason to do this is that you just don't want to spend more on water than you have to. And the byproduct of this is it's good for your lawn and great for the environment. So it's really a win-win for everybody. So I hope this video gave you some ideas. If you do these tips, you will definitely use less water and a substantial amount of it too. So I hope you liked this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already.